Mr. Dickinson. Gentlemen. The consequences involved in the motion now lying before us are of such magnitude that I tremble at the oppressive honor of sharing in its determination. My conduct this day, I expect, will give the finishing blow to my once great and now much diminished popularity. Yet I had rather forfeit popularity forever than vote away the blood and happiness of my countrymen. Independence will not strengthen us by one man, nor by the least supply. While it may expose our soldiers to additional cruelties and outrages, the full fury of British wrath will be unleashed. Indians will be loosed on the frontier. Negroes will rise up to slaughter us. New York may well be destroyed by their own admission. The advocates of separation say foreign assistance will be necessary. At what cost? Let us imagine a war without victors. When the guns fall silent, many will have bled and sacrificed only to have exchanged the light yoke of Great Britain for the heavy dominion of an alien power. Here, here. Some have argued that America will become one great commonwealth. But what is to keep 13 unwieldy colonies from splitting asunder? I have a strong impression in my mind that this will take place. Oh, gentlemen. To escape the protection of Great Britain by declaring independence unprepared as we are would be to brave the storm in a skiff made of paper. <laughs>